Okay folks, this is Beano Black and what we're going to do here is we are looking at a rookie and we're very proud of him and his name and everything is going to be on this but right now I'm just taking and cherry picking, yes we know, but this is science and data sharing and I know by the words that he has said that the idea that he basically wants this out there. Now I went and found this and he only had one view on his counter. Now you will have to understand that I can possibly get enough time in the end of this one or in the next half dozen videos I will show you where uh, Kerasoft, NSA, some government control and power, money markets, food, uh, commodities, something doesn't want you knowing about all this stuff, okay? Uh, this is NASA taxpaying dollars movies. So this is Sechi the Navy disclosure site. And what I did is I had whoever screws around on my IP addresses of screwing around on letting me get a hold of this footage, okay? Because what I did is I went to what I thought I had another, I have multiple people that get a hold of me. And he showed me of what I put out on my last video, I believe before this one, I think. Either that or the last two videos, okay? And it, we do have, and he'll make mention when you go to it, I'll put full disclosure of, of uh, this person here and I have many friends that get a hold of me and what helps is subbing like I'm subbing this for him in a sense but at the same time I put my creative thing on it but the idea put Beano Black on it and in the idea give this guy credit also because and I'll put that on there I'll even notate it on the on the links now you do see the meatball we know that that's out here and then it matches up over here like I showed you in my past video okay it out without being able to I didn't take time to do what he was able to do here so he's better more with playing around and making a video than I am I now say to be a professional ma video maker I just basically give you the data but this is a good example so we can give you data here as this plays through and we know that this is Lovejoy down here okay and I put my cursor up and we'll be able to get away from that now there's many finds you can see because the idea of the CMEs that are, are coming off the Sun they illuminate and then the idea that you have to realize that since we have a dark area down by the H1 the high 1B and this date and time if I put my cursor down here okay and then I'll get back up and get the block out the other part in a second but if you look here this is dark and what makes this dark is the gigantic objects that we know that are probably something like this size if you see this other object here you see you start picking these things out now there's a smaller object also right here okay now I'm gonna I'm just hurrying up and getting this video out and I honestly have not even watched or played this video even past more than about right here okay and I heard what he had to say and stuff like that and I seen standard YouTube so I'm like I'm gonna help the guy out because if he can help out subbing me back and forth we'll keep on getting this stuff and keep spreading this stuff out and keep looking at this NASA stuff and then they'll have to cherry pick after us to block our IP addresses and putting the videos out and so forth and so on okay cat and mouse kind of Tom and Jerry kind of like that thing okay and to my people who are trying to control what I say is while well, it's cussing a little bit and stuff like that I always try to cut back on saying they total expert but I'm me we're all human beings I've heard very religious people from every church in the world cuss okay so calm down on the language you know it's actually good for your blood pressure okay so we have tons of objects folks you can see a silhouette right here okay and whether that's a silhouette of the Sun and whether this is showing us how damn big the Sun is which is not because you can see that this is solid and the CME action that comes back off of the Sun and also remember the Sun is only a, probably about the size of my cursor okay well bigger than that okay because it's the Sun is bigger than Jupiter okay so realize that it could be something like this big okay the Sun's something like that big not even probably that big okay and it's basically right here and you can see from that flare there but you can also see that the idea that the flaring is way more than just the Sun as you see okay the Sun and whatever puts all this out okay well the Sun is not this damn huge and if I'm wrong on that then okay then this is the Sun okay so forget it but if this is it would be the Sun okay which it's not because the Sun's more than likely less like I say it's probably something around this big around bigger than Jupiter okay so then we have this shadow 
that's getting done by more than likely something like another one, which basically you can see a hump right there, okay, of just like what's the, right here, okay? Then you also see this here shadow about behind here, which is basically shadowing the CME action, but then the CME action goes up out here and gives, looks like God's flipping the whole world off, folks. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, there's a bird there, okay? So the idea, I mean, just factual. You're looking at factual data pictures, okay? So then you got the big, humongous meatball here that we pretty much know, and it's always been known, Space Cowboys the movie, folks, and everything like that. Everybody tries to put something into the movies to bleed out truth, okay? There's a humongous meatball right there. You can't miss it. It even matches up to here. So basically, if you were in the same resonation of this shot here, it would be a little bit bigger. As you see, it's a little smaller on this shot from H1B on this side. we got H1A over there. Okay, now, so you pay attention, and I'm going to give you the address to him making this video, and there'll be things that he's seen, okay? And we're total neutral parties. We have not spoken to each other. The only thing I can say is that he spoke to me and emailed me. So we're going to keep that working, because basically what I'll do is I'll email him in the way that I do, and with all my fans know that when I actually do communicate with somebody, it's very professional, okay? So we have our humongous monster up there way back because we know all these star clusters are in front of it and when you know you can't see through the damn thing because you can't see through the damn thing because you got darkness here and even when it's lit up you can only see space and star clusters all the way back to it and you can see it and you know that it's there okay there's no hiding it it's there now there is an object that is 774 times the size of the sun that nasa or scientists around the world astrologers have found out in space my last dozen videos, if you watch it, I show the whole data, the name of it, and a, a data on another object. And I'll be able to go back and bring that up again, too. So this is amazing footage because what you're going to see is what I have to get and, and hurry up because of time and clicking and talking. This is Lovejoy here. Now, when you see that spurt that comes out of Venus, you're going to know that it's not Lovejoy. Okay, because Lovejoy is going to drop out and Lovejoy doesn't just all of a sudden jump up and hit Venus and then spurt back out. Okay, and if anybody wants to be crazy and talk like that, uh, you know, wow, I just see another big object. Because you got to realize how you huge these objects are. You see this object right here, and I do remember hearing him talking and stuff, but I haven't, like I'm saying, I have only watched his video up to about probably right here on the timeline, okay? I've probably only, what, when you see the timeline here, you'll know how much I probably watched his video. And then I'll watch it, and I'll probably even make another video because he made such a good job of melding these together and playing it. Just like I was showing you on Soho stuff before, just put yourself like you're right here, like you're the sun, and you can see all this stuff from left to right, okay? So he matches up, and I was having trouble because some people were having fun making sure that I couldn't get to my data today to get the pictures, okay? Once I got to find. Okay, so then you also have this right here, which is basically does look like some sort of a shadow of this object right here, okay? This is solid. So this does, if this is any kind of reflection or an eclipse of the sun, it's this object here, either this one or both of these, and reflecting and giving this reflection right here. This is like a reflection right here. I will admit that that's like a reflection right there of and it getting lit up in a solar flare. And this looks solid here. This looks like an object there. And we know that there's massive stuff in the supergiants, 4 to 74 times the size of the sun. And I apologize for the little mic action there. And now I've learned how to do the headphone thing and knowing if I get myself too close to the mic. Okay? So I butcher this stuff out and throw it out as fast as I can. So you know that basically it's just butchered up, thrown out data. Okay? Always just try to throw this stuff out to you. I really appreciate this, this guy that's got time to be cuthful and make it look real good. Okay? So you're always going to probably get hacked from me because I'm just going to throw you data as fast as I get it and as fast as I see it, okay? So if you watch this and look at this, there is all kinds of stuff around in here. This is a massive object right here. Now this actually could be what we keep on seeing that the Catholic Church put up a long time ago to put a telescope up in one of the space shuttles, okay? To get a look at either this here or uh, whatever else it is, it's large, and I think it's like M55 or some damn thing like that. And I've had a video on it in the past, but I don't really get too stuck into actual name because NASA and everything like that is always changing the names on all these damn objects up in space to keep everybody messed up. So let's play this through, and I cut his audio down so that basically, you know, he can keep that as being him. And uh, I'm going to give you the link so you can go to this video of his. And basically, he shows this thing, so i got to let it play, and hopefully I'll have enough time through here to see what he ends up seeing and stuff. Now, it's going to end up taking and playing 
and give you love joy here, Glenn and Macy. I'm going to stop mine for a second, so the idea that it keeps playing and saves some video speed. Okay, so I'm just going with his feed, so he's going to have the control of basically when this played, of letting it play. But basically, you're still seeing the same action. I think, we, did we change a frame here or not? Just watch the clocks. Now, he's going around with his cursor doing his pit, seeing the stuff that he sees. And yeah, I have seen stuff like that, too. But there's so much stuff to look at. It's just, I always try to pick out the biggest things you can see, because it's the idea that it's so damn big. It's like, come on, man, it's... No matter what you say, and that that shot there for a minute, if you watched in the middle of the screen right where the sun bursts and stuff like that, and there's our spurt that I showed you that I think I was able to get from a couple friends who were able to tell me at the 2249 hour, okay? So we'll let him play here, and I'll save some more video time here. Well, this is moving. Every time he'll move, I'll come back in and try to play this. But there you go. Here's some more play action. And there, folks, you can't – that meatball's there. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. And we're not trying to, we're trying to make everybody feel calm and collect because the idea that, now look at all these objects right here, folks. Huge planets. Because Jupiter, and, and that's the biggest thing we know in our Milky Way galaxy right there. And look at all this stuff back over there. Okay, so I'll just keep letting this play. And I'm gonna, if it freezes, I'm going to save some video time. But this is just an awesome compilation that he did, putting these two together and splitting and letting them play. And you realize the sun is getting its flipping ass kicked in the supergiants. Now, there's nothing to fear, because no matter what, if we lose the sun, we got all the other planets in the supergiants. Okay? And we're not going to lose the sun, only they might get a little dimmer. But the sun's made it be through before, so the idea it should have a path going through the supergiants that it's not going to kick its ass too damn bad. So we're o trying to always defer a fear and just basically showing you what's going on because NASA ain't going to let you know. So basically it looks like he's got footage going back in here. We've got the 26. So we don't really have, I guess we might be progressing. I haven't paid too much attention. But check it all, all the mass of objects, folks. We're right there. This is a great archive footage now because the idea that we just get all this stuff. You see the CME move out. You know exactly what a CME is. You get to see the big old meatball. That's out our back door, Earth, that we knew that everybody astrologers-wise knew that the idea that, okay, in the dark, going to be moving up on us when we come through this. And you can go to NASA's and go to everybody's Google and everything like that, and they won't put a name on it, or they'll pull, put different hip names on different massive objects. So you can see all this big-ass stuff as we go through and it comes out. Massive discoveries because we're getting the headlights turned on in space, folks by our sun in the supergiants getting its ass kicked. Bammo, out the back door. Check that out. Is that awesome or what? Dude, you do not know how viral this could get. This is just awesome. Because I'm going to make sure I put this out. So now well, you can go to his thing and figure out what he, but see, everything, all this is like I explained to you in the past. I think he picked up on it. It's all light moving through space, okay, from these gigantic CMEs. And then you can pick up these objects. So everybody in the world that's been sitting there and giving anybody gaff to anybody about not telling you it's a sun, because it is not a sun. It's a dead sun. It's a dead planet of something. And it's humongous. That's the flipping meatball. And to the writers of Space Cowboys and whoever had the ability to put that comment in there, we appreciate it. I think there's probably even people at NASA that have to keep their mouth shut all the time appreciate it. Okay? This is just awesome stuff. All we got to do is watch the distance that we keep from the sun and the distance and what is going on with the sun in the supergiants. We might end up with a new sun, folks. Who the hell knows what will fall? We could end up with two or three suns. Now, then that people start thinking, okay, theoretically, then the idea that we could cook our ass. Well, then the idea that we have the ability to totally migrate to another planet. Now, I'll be the last one to leave. I'll tell you that right now. Because <laughs> it's just like someone turning on the, the, the chambers at, you know, go back to World War II, you know. I ain't going nowhere until we know for damn sure that something's all right. Otherwise, stay right here and burn. Burn, baby, burn. Okay? So, very truthful, honest data sharing. And you're going to check his video out and probably get more because we're getting down on the ticker and the time. But, folks, all this stuff is out there, and this is just awesome footage that he's been able to compile together, played next to each other. Okay? So, I think I can go ahead with the gray and pop that real fast and go ahead. Okay? And then we'll end up seeing what he's got for a date for the final shots but this is just awesome footage that he put together this stuff is real folks we're sharing and educating politically sharing and educating it's legal 
And this is your tax dollars, folks, and they don't show you. We do. We're Americans. It's in the Supergiant. More soon.